might have, but I don't remember. Alright, very shortly it'll be Fallout time. I mean, no, not Fallout time, Fall Guys time. <laughs> yeah, t Fallout time. I'm, I'm, no, we're not playing Fall Guys, we're playing Fallout. <laughs> I decided to say, fuck it, Fallout 76, yeah, let's play that broken-ass game me and Mochi didn't just start, you know, complaining about and dissing. <laughs> uh, wrong thing. Uh, there we go. Gonna load up the game in the background. Yes, Steam. Yes, Steam, that's what I wanted to do. Out of all the games I'm playing today, the one I'm semi-worried about maybe tanking the stream, even for a little bit, is gonna be Helldivers. Just a little bit. But I've been playing it for- I've just been playing it the last few days again. Letting it just kinda go, do its thing, playing through an entire set of missions. And then quickly going and checking what my PC temp is, and it's never beyond what the normal range is. So it's like, oh, okay. That's good. It isn't nearly as bad as what it was. I guess I put better thermal paste on now, like a better coating after I swapped everything over. <laughs> and also there's just more airflow in there in general. <laughs> Not like my whole PC case. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad, like, one, one, just one, like, you know, outtake fan. That's it. <laughs> it had no intake whatsoever. All it could do was expel any hot air and whatever the hell the CPU fan could do. This one has an intake, an outtake, and the CPU fan going. In fact, I think, I'm pretty sure I got room for one more uh, intake if I really, really wanted to. But it also has, you know, airflow underneath it, unlike the last one as well. Plus, there's more room in there, so it's not like everything is super cramped and together. Yeah, it's much, much better. What do you mean, missing file? Oh my god. Okay, apparently I gotta verify Fall Guys' files, so give me a second. Okay, uh, how do I do that? Verify integrity of gaming files. So I gotta do that before I can actually start Start Fall Guys. It had a, it had a fresh install too, so I don't know why suddenly it's like, no, it don't work. Whatever. And it's still a little early anyway, just a few more minutes, so I'd rather I'd rather figure it out now. Plus the verifying won't take too too long. We're already at like 38, 40% ish around there, so it's already going by really fast. Verify these good old files. saying yum. It just shows how much I actually really like this. <laughs> okay, all 1016 files successfully validated. 
If it doesn't work now, I am going to be sad. But it should work. It should work now. Please. Please, Fall Guys. Of all the games I'm begging to work, it's Fall Guys. <laughs> well, it's running. But I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Sort of. Okay, loading up. Come on, Paul, guys. I verified your files. Oh, well, I got a big uh, screen. A big gray screen right now. It's trying to load them up. Something's going on. Give me a second. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! Okay. It just took it a minute to load everything up. What do you mean missing files required to start? You gotta be kidding me. Why? Alright, you gotta give me guys a minute here so I can figure out what the hell's going on. Okay, it's something to do with the Epic Games files. They're not in the same location as the game. Give me a second here. That's what seems to be the issue. Which, yeah, I kind of installed it not where I think the Epic uh, is, I think. Pretty sure. That's the issue. While the files are all there, it's reading them is not there. So if I throw it into program files, continue as administrator. Give me a second. I'm literally copying the game over into my main drive. I put it on my big, uh, bigger uh, HDD. But the epic files are all on the SDD. Or the SSD. So I think that's the issue. It's almost copied over. And then in theory, if I open it from that file, I should be able to play the game. In theory. In theory. Yes. Oh, 
No, the client is open, but it's not at the same time. Okay, let's end it. Let's try opening it here again and see if it'll work. You gotta be kidding me. Just, yeah, just confirm. Let's try again. Yeah, maybe if I do it directly from Steam page rather than a link, like a other thing, it'll work, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if this doesn't work, if Fall Guys kind of screws up, I'll just move Fortnite up. People are also saying it's like just having the Epic Games launcher fucks it up. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, come on. No. Okay. All right. Alright, so, uh, Fall Guys is a wash. Unless... Uh, let's see, what happened? Let's gonna... I'm gonna uninstall it real quick. Yeah, just uninstall it. If I... What if I download you onto the C drive? Directly, instead of putting you on the other one. How long is this gonna... That's gonna take over two hours? Okay, never mind then. Never mind then. Alright, so yeah, Fall Guys is a wash. I'm sorry, guys. I should have tested this out beforehand. I apologize. So, we're gonna just move things up on the schedule. We're just gonna move things up. So, I apologize for that. I... I knew something was going to go wrong. Like, I knew... Everything was going so well so far. I knew... Something just had to come up. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
<laughs> I'm just waiting for it. Okay, it's starting to connect. Okay. I just gotta change the look here because it's full screen. There we go. That's better. Okay. <coughs> okay, I thought I was typing. All right, so we're just we're going to switch over all the way to Fortnite. Okay, now I just got to make sure the game gets actually captured. Yep, captured. Now I gotta make sure the sound of it gets captured for you guys as well. And yeah, it's gonna be a bitch and a half and not actually show up now, isn't it? Alright, so just give me a sec. I gotta wait for the, you know, it to actually show up in the properties is something that I, there it is. Okay. So if I bring the screen back... Yep, yeah, there we go. All right. There we go. All right, we are good. We are good, good, good. Good old Fortnite is ready to go. Eh. Doing like a million things, apparently. So yes, I actually have a skin, finally, that isn't, you know, the Christmas tree. <laughs> Unfortunately, I never actually played the Marvel thing long enough to get uh, the, you know, peel, uh, Peely as Wolverine. But I'm cool with just War Machine. I fucking love War Machine. Like, I absolutely love War Machine. I was wondering where the banana was. I never got it. I just... I never got it. That's my bad. I just... didn't. I'm disappointed with myself. Uh, there. There we go. But they... I'm at least War Machine. I love War Machine. I think he's cooler than Iron Man. Iron Man's cool and all, but War Machine is just top. I, I love just the gunmetal and dark gray. And who doesn't love just the massive amount of onboard weapons? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Wait, what's in the shop right now? Okay, yeah, Mephisto, whatever. Don't... Okay, yeah, Mephisto, the devil. From Marvel. <laughs> really? Okay, a Nightmare Before Christmas thing. Cool, cool. Why'd they specifically go with the Pumpkin King and not just Jack Skellington? Just the one form he took very briefly. Oh! Oh, the puppet from Saw. And just a bunch of generic creepy things. 
still some Deadpool stuff because, you know, Deadpool. Dances, more weird ass bundles. What in the heck? Just a me oh, it's a Megazord of Fortnite stuff. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Who is Carol G? I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't even want to know anymore. Oh, this is just actual songs. Let's just, let's just buy a Nissan, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All the random things. Okay, where's my music? Alright, that's just being weird and awkward, but whatever. It is what it is. <sighs> so again, this is open to anyone in the community that wants to join with me. Uh, I don't know what I need to do to give people to be able to get in. Is it just my username? Which, I mean... It's it's me. It's what else is my name gonna be? Baron Bananas. Like <laughs> it's pretty damn simple. I'm just making it friends right now, so it's basically saying if you want to play, you got a friend with me, more or less. What's the quest right now? The hell's a monarch pistol? But I'm going to be doing just no uh, no build because that's more fun. No build is more, I find, to be more fun than actual, you know, the standard build uh, one. Like, I want to be able to, I want to die because I didn't play too well. Not because some guy managed to build a mansion around me in five seconds when I decided to take a pot shot at him. No, seriously, where the hell's the music? Why is the music just gone? That's gonna bother me so much that there's just no music right now. <laughs> Alright. I'll at least start off a match right now. Try to get myself, you know, used to this again. Um. I am never changing from this loading screen. You can't make me. It's Star Wars. Y'all know how much I love Star Wars. I mean, I have a redeem on this channel for Star Wars facts. I should tell you all you need to know. You can pick your loading screen? Yeah, you can get a few. There's some in the, um, uh... The, the, the battle passes and everything you can get. This was part of the Star Wars one they had, all, like, last year. When I missed out on getting a Clone Trooper skin, which I'm so upset about. Like, I'm really upset I missed out on that. Okay, how long does it take to prepare shaders? My god. There we go. No, not the DMCA. <laughs> the bus is, uh, dripped out. No, Galactus's head is still over there.
There we go. So how did I just miss this? Is that just a motherfucking chainsaw? Oh, okay. Okay. I wasn't expect- Oh, I get it. Because it's like Halloween. I get it now. I get it. Oh, hi, Doom. There's someone digging around. <laughs> Get wrecked. Defeat Doom's Doombot? Okay. Hi, Doom. Who knew Dr. Doom's weakness? was a chainsaw. <laughs> about to say, what an interesting fight. He's using magic and a pistol, and I come at him with a chainsaw. And now I got his gauntlets. Ooh, that's a nice little looking, looking shoddy. Okay. Is there literally just no one has bothered to try to come in here? Yeah, in this universe, Rhodey didn't bother using any of the weapons from the War Machine syst uh, armor system. He just decided to come at him with a chainsaw. <laughs> okay, I'm um, sorry, chainsaw. I need the jetpack. Alright, so that means the rest of War Machine's kit is going to be here. That's good. Ooh, someone's having a fight. Can I join? <laughs> Get wrecked. All right, where's the okay?
Who puts nitrous on a minivan? Okay, I gotta be careful. He's got a little more firepower than me. Oh. Yeah, he's got a little more firepower. Yeah, he got me. That's fair. That's fair. He also had... He also had War Machine's auto turret. So I gotta give him that. I gotta give him that. He he had more of a he had a better kit than me. A new loading screen. <laughs> I got Doom's cloak. All right, let's see. Oh, I still have a chance to get the Peel Verine. I still have a chance to get the Peel Verine. Let's go. Let me just get my, uh, you know, free V bucks to start. So it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I can still get the Peel Verine. Let's go. Let's go. Now, I kind of want to keep... I'm, I'm kind of... Yeah, you know what? There. War Machine with Doom's Cloak. I got a caped War Machine. I don't know. Something about that just looks cool. <laughs> something about that just looks really cool. Gotta chew the rice. Yum. Did you wanna get on this, Mari, or are you good right now? Sorry, I'm just checking kind of everything's at the same time. Ugh. Arms. <clears throat> Ah, uh, okay, no worries, no worries. Only fall guys didn't fuck up on me. Yeah, something about War Machine, but with Doom's cloak, just, it speaks to me. Come back here, Cyclops! don't really have a favorite place to drop yet I just kind of drop wherever I'm feeling well, 
Uh, I kind of hate that the cloak goes away when you do the glider, but uh, it's for a short time. I'll get my wonderful, wonderful cloak back. Stark Industries Energy Rifle. Okay. Ooh! Well then, I got that shoddy again. Just waiting. <laughs> I just realized there was another one right here. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was worth it just to wait for them to open the door. They're definitely like, what the fuck was that? Okay, the train's like a ghost train now. Okay. That's kind of neat. I wonder how this uh, Stark Enter Enterprises energy rifle goes. Or Stark Industries, whatever. Stark Industries, it's Wayne Enterprises. I don't know why I got the two confused. Got ya. Yeah, I didn't really have anything interesting. So were they trying to use a shotgun at long range? Not a great plan. I meant to do. Definitely not what I meant to do. No. Ah, that's it. I am not going to step into the lava. That seems like a terrible idea. Oh dear. Well, I hit him. Not that it matters. Uh, 
No, I ain't getting any farther that way. Oh, we got a fight going on over there. I saw the pings. Fucking the hell was that? What the shit is this? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Now I'm just War Machine. Now I'm just War Machine. I have all of his shit now. His auto turret, his missiles and machine gun, and his jetpack. Oh, how do I get rid of these? Whatever. I have no idea how to get rid of that stuff. Maybe, uh... On the map? Yes. I'm trying to close the tip. Fucking thing. I see him. Just waiting for my thing to charge up. <laughs> there we go. Where are you? Where are you? Crap. Oh, being on the ground is ain't not good. Just blow everything up. Got 
Got him. Whew. Oh, shit. Not another one. I need those double SMGs. Thank you. That's unironically my preferred loadout with this. Unironically, my preferred loadout is to have the war machine stuff and then dual SMGs as a, a backup weapon. It just feels right. I don't know where they are, and that scares me. See what I mean? The dual SMGs just work and make sense for War Machine. Uh, oh dear. I need... I need shields. The shotgun is just extra insurance. The hell? Did I make that? I probably did. Yeah, I did make that. How many of us are Oh, there's only 13 of us left. Oh. Oh, dear. There's 12 of us left. Fuck it. We're gonna try. Oh, shit! Does some guy really just drive a car through the rift to get up here? Are you serious? Well, they ran away. Cowards. You don't mess with the war machine. They're back up here. Got him. There's nine left. I'm just capturing this to capture this. I don't need it. I just want it. Yay, I did it. What the hell is that? Iron Man's flight kit. I don't need Iron Man stuff. Okay, I need, uh, I need more shields again. I need the big shields now. Nope. There's seven of us left.
Seven of us left, and I managed to kill six people. That ain't too, too, that ain't too, too bad. There's just no big shields up here. That kind of sucks. But I mean, whatever. I've lived without them. I can do it this time. Yeah. That's fine. There's no reason for me to be... Actually, that'll work. That works. A witch broom? I'm not getting a witch broom. Five of us left. That's it. There's a big fight here. That wasn't my fight. Alright, got one. Four of us left. Ooh. I don't know where they are. Oh no. Oh no, I... Oh dear. Oh dear. I have no health. Damn it! Ah, I had no health. That was my bad. I was shooting at someone I shouldn't have been. <laughs> I came third. Wow, giving the other guy a red card. Waiting for it to, you know, happen right now. The next match. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That was actually a really good one. No, not the DMCA. Let's go... I don't know. 
I don't know where. <laughs> Let's go to the land of ice and snow. There's literally nothing here. I chose a terrible spot. Oh well. It was a bad choice, but it was my choice to make. Well, I guess Mount Olympus is now Halloween themed. Oh, oh, that looks like a trophy. I mean, a chest. All right, let's see what I can get from here. Give me something good. Give me something good. I'll grab those for now. Good? Meh. It'll do. Am I able to hire you? Uh, I'll... Oh, eh, eh. Hey, oi! There, and I'm hiring you. Because I want to. Oh! You're healing me? You're giving me shields? Sorry. Hi, Korra. Bye, Korra. Dude, get out of the way. Let me pick stuff up. Oh my, really? You throw it down right now? Get some more ammo. I'm gonna pick that up so I have another one of those on standby. That's a person. Hehehe. <laughs> Get wrecked. Fine. Fine, just break it all. See what I get. Nothing that good. <laughs> We're so majestic, aren't we? I got two of the exact same gun. I'm going to have to fix that later. I'll ditch the one. The hell? Okay then. All right, four, we're halfway through the match. Yeah, Olympus became pumpkined. 
It got Halloweenified. What do we got in here? Oh, okay. We got uh, Iron Man's gloves. Okay, so now we're just war machine stealing parts of Tony's suit. Hey, nerd. Yep, I can actually hear this time. I was having a movie day. Oh, okay. Well, I hope your movie day went great. Oh, I can use the Unibeam? Damn. That's actually kind of awesome. Yeah, how you doing, Nevermore? I'm going to go to that terminal. Why? Because I can. It's a little risky, but meh. It's a tiny bit risky because it's outside the dome, but whatever. Well, not the dome, the uh, circle, but it's fine. Access did not... Oh, piss off. I'm not hunting down an access code. Hi, gents. Bye, gents. First two were Corpse Ride and Nightmare Before Christmas. Love the movies so much. My mom wanted to see them. Recently, I had gifted her the Hannibal Lecter trilogy. Or seems she wanted to watch one. It was actually pretty good. All right, we got the forecast tower. I can see future storm, storm circles. Cool. I did all that for, like, no reason. Um, weren't they... Okay, I've lost stuff. That's fine. Life in general is still ugh, but today was good. Well, at least today in general was good. I don't know if I even hit anything. Apparently I leveled up. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Damn it, hunt down by a chainsaw. That's fine. That's fine. I probably would have gotten more on him if my hired dude wasn't in the way of my fucking shots. It's time. It's time. Finally, Baron Bananas can be a banana in Fortnite. 
I am the Pilverine. <laughs> I'm the Pilverine. Let's go. <laughs> now I'm not going to be changing skins like almost at all. If I do, it's just going to be between this and fucking uh, War Machine. It's your destiny, you're just bananas. Damn right I am. Of course I'm bananas. Unfortunately, nevermore, the Tricera jorts were not on our side because Fall Guys did not want to start for me. I kept saying that they don't have necessary files to start or whatever, despite verifying the install. So no Tricera jorts today. Did you pray to the jorts gods? If so, that's on you. I mean, of course I did. I just apparently didn't test the damn game after I reinstalled it to see if it would work. Just shoot a boat enough it explodes into nothingness. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go to the land of ice and snow once again as the Peel Vereen with Doom's Cape. <laughs> You better watch yourself, bub, or you're gonna be a banana split. <laughs> Thank you, Wolverine, for being the most, like, most popular Canadian superhero. Yes, Wolverine's Canadian. He's also very short. I think I might be actually slightly taller than Canon Wolverine. I don't know. I have to look up what his height is. But he is a very short man. He is not Hugh Jackman sized. I think it's like partially why he's called Wolverine. Because he's like... Like a Wolverine. A very small, angry badger. But no one fucks with badgers. So I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hugh, Hugh Jackman is, like, Australian or from New Zealand or something. But he plays a Canadian superhero that primarily lives in America. Or at least works with a, a mostly American uh, superhero team. Yeah, he, uh, Wolverine was, a. Uh, Born and raised in good old Canada. I mean, so is Dead Deadpool's also Canadian. I gotta change this gun out for something else. I think I saw a chest up there. That's kind of why I'm going this way. I'm climbing up Mount Olympus. That now has a giant pumpkin on its head. Oh, gee, I wonder what you're going to do. I wonder what you're going to do, Nevermore. Yes, yes, we all agree. Baron is an idiot. Thank you, Nevermore. Thank you. I am an idiot. This is a well-documented fact. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a chest. It was just ammo and a bounce pad. That's kind of lame. 
Oh, well, there's somebody up here. Um, I'll take a shotgun. Uh, thank you. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Where are they? Oh, all the way up there. Other than the failure of Triceratops, anything particularly epic that I missed? Uh... Not really? Be honest, not too much. We haven't really done much. Other than uh, Infinite Craft, Pal World, and uh, Terra Escape. Ah, damn it. Demochi scared the shit out of you again? Yeah, he joined. Yeah, and we talked for quite a while. <laughs> he was here. He had to go to work, but he said he'd be back. He only has like a four hour shift, so he'll be back to torment me again. His words, not mine. You wearing a clone trooper skin? You are. Damn it! I wish I had gotten that skin when it came out. Oh well, I got, I got, I got Peel Vereen now. I'm happy. I'm gonna try to do this very, very quickly. I'm gonna try. Try being the keyword. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to do it in time. I'll try again. I'll after match. I'll. This is just. I was. I'm gonna show off a Star Wars fact from like uh, two days ago. I think it was two days ago. That I just thought was really cool when I found out about it. Oh, speaking of Star Wars, there's the Millennium Falcon. Did you figure out what to use as a tier list? I got one for sure. Already. Which, it could take a little bit of time. Oh crap. Run, no! <laughs> well, that sucked. <laughs> okay, let me just uh, get lay image here that I'm looking for. <gasps> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know if you're here for this one, uh, Nevermore, or not. It's about a clone trooper that I found out about. That has apparently actually been around for at least two years now. K-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-
can't remember if you're here for it. Oh, do I not have the picture anymore? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. I got so many pictures, I gotta try to sift through. Like this again, this is from like two days ago that I did this one. No, this is literally this is a fact from like two days ago. I can't remember if you're here two days ago or not. Let me just claim this stuff while I'm here. Nope. Claim a free V-Bucks. There. No, oh, but free in quotations. Oh, that's amazing. That's just... Yes, yes, more yes. There, my my pickaxe is the claws. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so this is this is actually I think just really cool. So, two years ago, in one story, and then also later in another story, uh, a uh, author introduced a very different clone trooper to the Grand Army of the Republic. There's still a Jango Fett clone. However, however, they are um they're transgender this is a clone of Django Fett one of the many clone troopers that felt like they were actually a woman more than they were a man and that is th th there she is she was worried how her cl her clone brothers would see her, or even the Jedi would, and her, and all the other clones in her group were just kind of like, "We're gonna call you sister, just so you know you always belong." <laughs> they like accepted her wholeheartedly, and very recently she just got an actual design in another book, so this was like our first actual look at what sister looked like. Physically, other than just a book description. This just goes so far. Again, I've said it when I brought it up last time. It goes so far into cementing what the Clone Wars series was doing with the clones by actually making them their own people with their own thoughts and feelings about literally everything. Quite interesting, they added it actually is, honestly. And it wasn't like, and the, from what I understand, the book wasn't about them. They were just there. They were there in the world, which is cool. It's just like, all right, you, you're just here. And everyone's just like, all right, yeah, awesome kind of thing. They just, ex they all just accept it. It's like, all right, you, you're a girl. You, you, you identify as a woman. You say you're a girl. All right, cool. That's what you are then. They even had, essentially, Anakin more or less coining transgender in uh, the Star Wars universe. By just kind of comparing kind of like her situation to kind of like what the Jedi do, how they transcend everything. So it's like, so maybe you just decide to transcend gender. Transcend uh, gender, huh. I like this, I like, it eh, needs some work, but I like where it's going kind of thing. <laughs> Like, that's just cool. And it's very obvious the design they did on the armor with the colors and stuff. It's supposed to be the colors of the trans flag. But they did it in a way that it just... It looks really nice. Like, that looks really... Nice. It's not just slapping the flag on there and calling it a day. They made this fit with, like, all other kind of clone designs when they have different markings and everything. It is just... Mwah. 
It is cool. I like this. A, a lot of the fandom is up in arms over this, but... It's like, this is something from two years ago, so clearly you didn't give a shit until, you know, one channel decided to bring it up on Twitter. So you don't actually care. You're just being mad for the sake of being mad. You, you only cared because it got attention drawn to it. Boo-hoo to you. It's a big fucking galaxy. A lot of things are going to exist in it. And in the Star Wars galaxy, we have a transgender clone. Again, it cements what the Clone Wars is doing. It made the clones not just, you know, we're the same person with the same voice and same face and same DNA. We have no interesting details or qualities amongst each other. We're all exactly the same. No. That whole series showed they are not the same. They may look and have started from the same point, but they all spread out and did their own thing. They all... They all talk to us a little bit differently. They all think us a little bit differently. Like, it's just perfect. And then also just makes, you know, what happens after the Clone Wars even more tragic. How they've lost that identity. Which, seeing Sister in a post-Order 66 Star Wars world would be something. Like, what happens... Does she just does she also just completely lose her identity and go back to being a man? What happens with her? That's actually something I want to know. Cuz she's not like one of the defect clones like the bad batch and whatnot. She's just a ordinary clone trooper, but then, you know, it's just I think I'm a woman. I believe I am a woman. I am a woman. That's just that's just it. Other than that, she's still a soldier. Can still do exactly what the others can do. Just identifies in a different way. But how she would fit into a post-Order 66 world is both interesting, but also a little terrifying of what could happen. Definitely has a lot of story possibilities potential. Yeah, exactly. There's There's something... There's definitely stories you could tell with her. Not super big, grand-scale things, but, like, just... Just a story focusing on her in that time, leading up to and afterward. Like, that's something I'd want to see. I like seeing little snippets... Snippets of, like, just everyday lives in Star Wars. How their lives are affected by these big, grand, uh, you know... Conspiracies and plots. We don't always need to follow a Skywalker. The most screwed-up... The most screwed up dysfunctional family that has to make it the galaxy's problem. They always have to make it the galaxy's problem. Fifteen. I gotta. I had to modify things a little bit because ball guys didn't want to work. I hope they don't ruin it. No, like make her character in her own way that just happens to be trans. They don't just make her token trans whose whole identity is being trans and transphobia is their only struggle. So from the very short appearances she has, everyone's just kind of accepted it. Again, all of her other clones in her detachment, which is actually Obi Wan's detachment. So, this is a clone that's under Obi-Wan's command. They're all just like, alright. And again, her clone brothers named her sister. So that she knows she always belongs. That kind of thing. She was worried about revealing it, but they just automatically accepted it. No questions asked. So, it's like not even a struggle. It's just, you're a girl? Yep, cool. Let's carry on. You're a soldier, you can still fight, that's it. If you can't fight, uh, you just gotta go with the civilians, that's it. We're in the middle of a war, that's all you gotta be able to do is just fight right now. <laughs> and yeah, she wasn't the focus of the stories either, like... She was just there as part of the story, not the focus of the story either. Which, that's fine, I, I like that. I like just like, here's just an interesting character, you can talk about it, theorize about them. 
And then if someone, if another writer wants to pick up their story in another book later, then, well, they can. Which, I mean, kind of happens in Star Wars a lot. Like, I mean, even with the movies, like, here's all of these characters that get no, uh, development or whatnot in the movies. But then authors will go and give them more characterization later on. Like, anyone who's just watched the movies will not really give a rat's ass. Like, who the hell is Wedge Antilles? Why should I give a shit? And then the books gave him a backstory. How he is actually, like, Luke's, like, one best friend. He's just as good, if not better, of a pilot than Luke. Goes on his own crazy adventures. He also lost his parents at a young age. He watched them die. And that was kind of his reason for joining the, uh, rebellion. Uh, but then they changed it up a little bit in the, uh, Disney era, where he was just part of the Empire as a trainee, like a clone, uh, TIE pilot, uh, trainee or whatever. And then he eventually joins the Rebellion. There's a lot. It's great. Then I just find it frustrating when anything adds, the trans characters doesn't know how to handle them. They fall into the trap of their personality just vanishes the second they come out. Ah, fair. That'll get bet that'll get a lot better over time. Honestly, it will. There we go. That's two down. Oh my god. Okay, three down. Can I get a minute here to reload my shit? I need more ammo. I didn't expect to fight three people <laughs> in such quick succession. that just for now. God, can you imagine if I went around the whole match just using the my pickaxe? It would take me forever to kill anything. It's not advised, but it would be just like totally in character. Gotcha. Oh no. Damn it. Well, that's fine. He got me with the Unibeam. What the hell kind of funky ass skin is that? Oh, that's cool. And there's a strong and interesting character, the great personality, and the kind of trans, and everything is about that. They go around alienating. Yeah, okay. I, I, I get what you mean. I do get what you mean. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. Two seconds. Oh, I moved it over here. The hell? The hell? Why did I move that over here? <laughs> Apparently, I'm moving everything everywhere without realizing it.
Yeah, there isn't too much about her right now. Again, she's just from, like, two stories from two years ago. The most they got was just apparently was the initial fear that they had before they appeared in the story about being accepted for the way they, you know, feel. And then them just... Like every other clone trooper, grieving for their fallen brothers when they die and rearranging their helmets in kind of like a nice little... You know, just kind of in a nice, neat-looking pile as a memorial to them, which we've seen before in the Clone Wars. So that's all the kind of characterization she has right now. But it's been two years since she's been in anything, so who knows? Give it a little time and she might actually make another appearance. And I am on Mount Olympus in probably one of the worst spots I could be. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, I saw that coming. That was my bad. That was my bad. But I hope another writer is able to... Well, I hope another writer uses her and uses her well. I do like how they've done that in Star Wars, though. It was showing me and my mom that like this finished a few years ago to trans character. Uh, oh, Wentworth? I know about Wentworth. My mom watched Wentworth a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I recall who Maxine is. Trisha is sent to the prison of two characters that are being uh, phobics, which is a bad thing. Maxine was the greatest character in it. She was best friends with the main character at the time. Okay, yep. Hi, Harley Quinn. You're gonna die to the to the peel Vereen. <laughs> Speaking of Harley Quinn, something I can't believe that actually exists is Suicide Squad Isekai. Like, why? <laughs> why did that need to be an anime? Why did we need the Suicide Squad Isekai to a fantasy world? Seriously, just why? Why did we need that? But, I mean, it did give everyone, uh, you know, uh, it did give everyone the ability to see a Harley Quinn Magical Girl-esque transformation. And, I mean, also one for Clayface and Peacemaker and, uh, King Shark. It's just the craziest thing, like, Suicide Squad Isekai. I, I, I don't know who was asking for a, um, uh, DC comic villains go to another world, go to a medieval fantasy world, but, uh, well, they got it. Of all things. Also, I'm gonna have to get a move on. I'm, uh going to be outside of the circle. And a big highlight from that show, I'm pretty sure, was the fact the op it was either the opening or the ending was sung by uh, Maury Calliope from Hollow Live English. 
So they got a VTuber singer doing the opening. VTubers are infecting everything, guys. I love to see it. I love VTubers. A lot of my friends are VTubers. <laughs> VTubers are cool. I saw somebody walking over here. There's someone walking here. And I know you love Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn. I know that for a fact. <laughs> cool, leveled up and ooh, okay, what do we got over here? Oh, just chug splash. Yeah. No, I want this open. Well, there's, uh, the raft. Got him. Oh, whoa. Damn it. <coughs> no, that happened. <laughs> what the hell is this? Why is a big gauntlet a glider? Oh, X-Force Peel Vereen. It's just a different colored Peel Vereen skin. <laughs> I got an Emma Frost skin. And then the fully diamond Emma Frost. Jonesy is Cap. Jonesy is Cap again. <laughs> Mysterio. And another Mysterio. Shuri. Shuri in the suit. Oh, it's an emote, but I guess it changes her costume. Oh, it gives you the emote and the costume. Okay. A friend just sent me a Wish Disney Prisoners, which should be your BFF quiz. Are you game? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Alright, good there. Let me just clear these out, otherwise it's gonna be bothering me for like just ever. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. Yes. Let me use that. I don't think we've used boats in a long ass time. Yeah, just everything has got the Peelverine skin. <laughs>
<sighs> I have to take a, another break soon, I think. Soonish. Let's see, when was I supposed to start this normally? Uh, let's see. Let's put it in announcements. Uh, oh, now. <laughs> That's when I was supposed to start this, about now, but I started it earlier. Started during Fall Guys' thing. Okay. So, I'm gonna go for about another half hour or so of this. So, maybe one or two more games of this. Then I'm gonna take a quick break, just so I can make sure Ruby's all, you know, good. She's outside. She goes outside, has... does her business. And whatnot. And then I can uh, prep us up for some uh, Hell Divers too. Ah, I don't need the DMCA. What's your favorite dessert? Ice cream. Oh, and Nevermore, you also kind of missed it earlier. For lunch, I had a Krabby Patty. I had a Krabby Patty for lunch. Oh, there's no thing here now. Yeah, it was just a Dave single from Wendy's, so it wasn't super spectacular. Just a slightly different sauce was on it. It wasn't too bad. I wish there was, like, some actual packaging that came with it. But it was still alright. It was pretty good. Not a fan of what my drink came in, though. It didn't come in a with a straw. It, but it came with a lid that has a little tab like you would on a coffee mug, like a coffee cup. It's weird. I didn't it didn't feel right to flip uh, my, like, tip my drink over to sip out of it. I got a straw for it myself. Like, that's just weird. I'm sorry. Which answer gets me closer to having Black Rock Shooter as a PFF? <laughs> hey, Eric the Gazer. How's it going, buddy? Thank you, thank you. It's actually worked out pretty well this year that, uh, when I did the celebrate the affiliate anniversary the technical day is actually tomorrow but that's Canadian Thanksgiving I'm pretty sure I'm doing something with my sister because she asked me to take a leg of lamb out and plus I don't want to do a 12 hour stream and then have to go to work the next day Nice try, buddy. You did pretty good, though. I'll give him that. Uh, let me just uh, do this. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do with friends? Board games. Give me the. Give me the. There we go. I'll take that. No, I don't want those. I want this. Thank you. Okay. We got a little bit more of an arsenal. Having an auto turret's going to be handy. At least I think it will be.
So yeah, another well, about a half hour or so. So around six o'clock ish, I'll take a break to first refill my tea, make sure Ruby's all good to go, go to the bathroom again, and then uh, we'll be doing some hell divers too. Fight for that managed democracy. Spawn two buried rare chests nearby and find and dig them up. Okay. I don't know how I can find these damn things. I always just accept it, but I never know where they are. They're apparently hidden and buried. But that's all I get. What would your friends describe you as? Um, independent. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to find those chests. Are you kidding me? Or... Oh no, it's just a regular. Meh. Favorite ride at Disneyland? Does it have a list? Because I've been to a Disneyland, just not, you know, Disneyland in the United States. get to that in time to get some Iron Man stuff but worth a shot maybe if I had a car I'd be able to get there quickly but I don't have a car I mean IRL I have a car Someone got the Iron Man stuff. Ah, there they're flying. Uh, Space Mountain. Actually, no, no, no. A Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion was cool. Haunted Mansion, yeah, Haunted Mansion, 100%. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, crap. Too late to have Space Mountain the second you said it? Damn. Oh, they're just regular ass Wolverine. Well, I'm kind of okay with good old uh, my banana Wolverine getting beaten by real Wolverine. <laughs>
Sorry about that. <laughs> Sister was in getting some stuff. Favorite Disney motto? You got a friend in me. I don't know where the hell I dropped. I just hit a button. I guess I'm dropping here. I, like, never see sniper rifles anymore. I don't know why. Jigsaw's challenge. Do you want to play a game? Oh, a hell no. I am no, that ain't happening. Okay, I got like multiples of the same weapon. Ooh. I don't need another shoddy. Pick a flower. Uh, rose. No, ghost train. Nah, that's fine. Okay, that'll do. Where are we here? Okay. Yeah, so it's probably definitely going to be after this match, I think. That we're donezo for Fortnite. In my slightly uh, altered plan. Oh, oh, we got a Stark uh, Industries uh, box. Iron Man's flight kit. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. That was just funny. Dr. Doom just runs up on me with a chainsaw. <laughs> and I just go, what? Oh, that was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That looked incredible. I know, right? <laughs> Alright, so it looks like it'll be one more Fortnite match before I take a quick break to get, uh... You know, hell divers ready. Oh, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I am going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> I gotta go back and clip that. Because that was just beautiful. Hi, Zoidberg. Hello. 
Which one of those movies is the seventh question? Ah, not the DMCA. Oh, I didn't even see that one. I got too distracted by dying to chainsaw wielding Doctor Doom. Uh, Lion King. Let's go, Peel Vereen, with your Doctor Doom cape. <laughs> Got a pistol. There we go. All right, we good. We good. It was an epic death. Like, holy crap. Wow, I certainly know how certainly know how to drive. Believe me guys, I know how to drive in real life. Well, that's useless now. If you have a magical ability, what will you choose? Uh, give me superhuman strength. Going for the crate. I need that crate. Mm, someone's got Iron Man stuff already. That ain't a good thing. Hell yeah, let's go. All right. Oh, it's Jonesy. Well, I killed Jonesy. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, now he's just chilling. <laughs> oh well, I proved my worth. 
Sure, you'd like to celebrate your birthday. Got you, buddy. Uh, bowling. 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 One hundred percent. I love bowling. That don't help. None of this is going to help. Except maybe the ammo. But even then, I already got a lot. Last question. Red, pink, brown, purple, teal, cream, orange, mocha? I'm gonna go with red. Oh, the Iron Man thing's coming. I might be able to get to it. And get some Iron Man stuff to go with my War Machine stuff. We'll see. Your Disney Princess BFF is Mulan. Nice! The one with a kill count in the thousands. Let's go. Alright, do I even want... I'll take Iron Man shit. At least some of it. There, I'll take... Okay, so I have Iron Man's gauntlets and boots... Uh, along with War Machine's gauntlets. Yeah, that makes sense. Trying to find where these people are fighting and dying, apparently. Oh! There we go. Nothing beats Stark Tech, huh? <laughs> Nothing beats good old Stark Tech. Oh crap, I pissed off Doom's guards. Alright, I think I got them all. Oh no you don't, buddy. Nice try. Oh no, it's Doom Guy! Doom Guy with a chainsaw! Alright, that's fair. Doom Guy with a chainsaw kills me. That's just super fitting.
That's that. That's just way too fitting. Doom guy coming at me with a fucking chainsaw. <laughs> well, I got a bunch of stuff. Um, okay, I got Doom's outfit, so that's kind of cool, I guess. All right, what other battle pass stuff do I got now? Oh, I'm just one battle pass uh, thing short. One star short to get the X-Force Peel Vereen. That's okay, though. I can, however, get more free V-Bucks. Doom guy with a chainsaw is a legend at this point. He's your impressive nemesis. <laughs> Actually, I know how much... Okay, I got 400 V-Bucks. Is there anything in here for 400 V-Bucks right now? Also, speaking of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, Nevermore. They got that kind of going on right now. No actual Jack Skellington, but they got his Pumpkin King uh, design. For whatever reason. And also, you know, Billy the Puppet from Saw. <laughs> I don't think anything in this shop is 400 V-Bucks. I think the cheapest thing is 5 that's true. Yeah, they do got they do got his girlfriend. Y yeah, nothing here is oh. Emota cape. Yeah, no, fuck that. I'm not getting a goddamn cape. Or a holographic cupcake backpack. No. That shit lame. But hey, I got Doom. That's actually really fucking cool. Just just Doom. All right. All right, so I'm going to take a quick-ish break. Ooh, my back. Yeah, I'm going to take a quick-ish break, make myself a new tea, make sure Ruby's good, maybe clean my desk off just a tiny bit. It won't be super, super long, and then we'll get into some Helldivers 2. I'll let the Fortnite music play in the BRB screen, though, just so you guys have something, unlike last time. So, yeah, uh, see you guys uh, shortly.